Uh, well, the week, you know, the, the preseason, off season, you know, things that are critically important to being successful is not, are not showing up, um, you know, as as consistent as we need them to be. Um, obviously, offensively today, um, you know, pretty easy to see. You know, it was a very disappointing performance. Um, you know, able to and able to really ever get uh, you know, much going. Uh, your second half, we were able to move the ball, but uh, you had a couple explosive plays. Um, you know, but still had wait, you know too many negatives. Uh, you know, they did a good job in the first half with some of the pressure packages, and we had you know a couple turnovers. Um, you know, missed opportunities. Um, you know, drop balls. You know, just m mistakes that, that don't allow to uh, to play winning football. And uh, we came out, you know, third quarter, you know, be able to hit, hit a big play, get down, score a touchdown, wherever we'll move the ball, got in the red zone, you know, need to be able to finish. Um, you know, had a, had a mistake, you know, there inside the five that um, that, hurt, that hurt us. And, um, you know, obviously, um, you know, not be able to, to finish there at the end. And, um, you know, I thought the defense had, had good moments, you know, still, uh, you know, too many times we're, we're not getting off the field in, in third down situations. We had uh, some, some mistakes. We had some new guys that, you know, really, uh, got you know tested today just with our with our depth. We had guys that went down, um, you know, on both sides of the ball. We, you know, we lost Darius Washington in pregame, so uh, you know, forced uh, some moving pieces there. Um, you know, there, um, you know, within the offensive line, you know, had some linebackers go down. Um, obviously, um, you know, opportunities for guys to to rise up and and you know seize the moment and. Uh, you know, some guys did, and then you know, obviously some guys. We you know, obviously got to make sure that uh, we're doing all the things in our preparation to allow us to go out there and and play to the level that we're capable of playing. And uh, you know, I, I do believe that um, we're a much better team than what we're showing. So uh, you know, obviously it still comes down to to me being able to get that out of these guys, and for that to show up you're, you're, you're on game day. And um, that's you know, I'm. Um, just disappointed that I've not been able to get get more out of what I believe this team is, and uh, you know we're going to continue to work at it. Um, you know I, I believe in, in who we have. I believe in, in what they can do, and uh, you know, but we got to be able to transition what what you know the, the positive things that we see out there on the practice field. It's got to come. It's got to be able to translate. You know, uh, on, on on the game day, and um, you know obviously that's going to be a lot of evaluation, uh, a continued evaluation coming off a of bye week. You know that's what we. Did and I thought we would have a much better performance um, than what we did here here today. Um, you know, I, I think all three phases had uh, had moments of just you know not not looking like and not playing like the the way that we're capable of. So, any questions? All right, first one will be Chris Nee, second row here, right? Mike, how do you do things differently or approach things differently to get the results that you expect from the practice that you're not getting translating to games well, I mean, right now? You know, it's. Uh, you know, I've been doing this for a while, and um, you know it's um, you know there's there's times where you 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 see guys you know playing and or or you know as we talked you know pressing you know obviously trying to to do t you know, too much uh, we try to simplify communication try to um, you know make sure that uh, you were doing things that that guys have shown you know throughout throughout that work to to you know be consistent and uh, to be able to translate. Um, you know, and that's you will continue to evaluate that. And you know, I, I definitely know what it takes to win games. I know what it takes to uh, uh, for for a team to go out there and, and be able to to execute and play at a high level. And uh, you know, we all have to do a better job of um, you know we'll, of what we're doing you know throughout the course of the week. And you know, I have to challenge the players, challenge the coaches, all right, because we can't continue to to come into games and then see things that that. Absolutely, are not a part of, of what we and who we are. You know, show up, and um, you know, I, so we all have to prepare better, and we all got to make sure that uh, um, you know we get to game day that it, it is our best foot forward. And you know, these guys, I mean, they haven't stopped working. I mean, I, I, I mean, you guys are at practice. I mean, it's you know, they 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 do work. You know, obviously the the uh, the transit the transition to to the game day. Um, you know, we've got to we got to do a better job of making sure that you know whether it's the communication, whether it's the uh, the understanding, the reaction, and then you know just being confident in the moment and go making the play. I mean, I that you know, it shows up with you know with missed opportunities, um, and you know that that obviously we got we have to be we have to be better in that situation. We'll stay over there for our. 
You guys, uh, obviously, you mentioned the drop passes, um, but to have 67 yards in the in a half, um, have you ever had an offense that struggled like this to, to do much of anything? Um, as I have I ever. Um, sure, probably some, probably some point. Um, you know, but yeah, it wasn't. I mean, obviously, we did not. You know, you turn the ball over a couple times. You, I mean, the turnovers matter. You turn the ball over on the second play of the game. Um, that's a that's a big play. We had the interception. Um, you got pressure. Arm got hit. You know, had a, had an opportunity on the play. Um, but you know, when you have those things and you have you know a couple big drops and and moments, I mean, that kills drives pretty quick. And uh, you know, we we. I thought we did a good job coming out in the third quarter and you'll know, be able to hit the explosive play. I thought we moved the ball there in the second half, uh, but we got to finish drives and we got to eliminate, you know, eliminate mistakes that, that put us in, uh, um, you know, challenging situations because of TFLs, because of uh, pressures. Um, and, you know, I mean, obviously, it's, it, like I said, it's all of us, so. Coach, it's clear to hear the disappointment in your voice. I'm just wondering your message to the team uh, at halftime when you guys were down 10 points, and also your message to the team uh, after the game right now. You know, just at, you know, at halftime, just you, you have to go play the you have to go play the next play, and you know you get caught up. You know, looking at a scoreboard, you get caught up on. You know, I mean, there was no there's no secret. The offense you know, struggled in the first half. Um, but, you know, even with that, there's games where that, you know, one side of a ball might struggle and, you know, we've got to have each other's back and we've got to make sure that we're responding and controlling the things that we can control um, you know, in those situations. And, you know, that's, that was my message to him is that, you know, it didn't matter offense, defense, especially we needed, we needed to be able to go out there. We've got to, got to have the game changing, you know, plays and um, whether it's defensively, you know, it's great, you know, seeing the interception um, that we got. Uh, but, you know, we also had, you know, three turnovers, you know, you know, there, um, you know, missed opportunities, you know, there, and, uh, um, and then obviously some critical mistakes that, that, you know, we've got to get corrected. And so, um, you know, there after, after the game, you know, I challenge, I, I, you know, I challenge all of us, you know, the, you know, I, the things that we're doing, they have to translate to the game. And the things that we're, we're being asked to do, the things that, that, that I know we can do, you know, has to translate to the game. And, um, you know, we're going to continue to evaluate that on in every aspect. I mean, we played three games. We haven't won any of them. So, you know, everything's under evaluation. And, you know, everything is going to be continued to, um, you know, to look at, whether it's your scheme, whether it's uh, your personnel, you know, all, all of it. And we've got to go, you know, we've got to go take positive steps. And it's got to show up on game day. And uh, we've got to go put this, this team in a position to win games. And cause I absolutely believe that it can. <gasps> Cal comes up next at home for Florida State. You heard it there. Everything is under evaluation, Danny Cannell, this Florida State team. I'm not surprised at all. I mean, Mike Norvell is searching for answers anywhere he has to find them, and I think every single position across the board is being evaluated and potentially up for change. Mike Norvell, the only FSU head coach to start 0-3 or worse twice. Full highlights of Memphis, Florida State coming up after the break.